to be a caregiver for the wounded veterans. A lot of good days, but there's a lot of bad days also. Being just somebody that they can lean on when they're going through their rough times. It's a prideful thing to take care of my husband just by making sure that he has everything he needs because he gave so much. You gotta really have strength. Um, each veteran's different. Me being able to help him means a lot, whether it's mentally or physically. It is probably my biggest job. If I'm not available to him when he needs me to be, if I'm not there to kind of talk through things, um, his mind's constantly running. He doesn't know how to shut it off. It will affect his sleep. It will affect if he eats. It'll affect everything. I always have my phone on me if he needs anything. I gotta make sure that I'm available all the time and answer when he calls or texts for anything. There's a lot of things that Tim thinks is impossible to do. So there's a lot of times that I really have to calm him down um, and say, you know, you are able to do this. Sometimes you need to take a step back and think about how you can accomplish this task. Some of the challenges that I had experienced as a caregiver is understanding the emotions. You gotta be able to be the backbone and understand all of it. You kind of walk on eggshells. You don't want to be a trigger. Understanding how to manage his PTSD, how to make things less stressful for him in our environment has been the most biggest challenge. One of the challenges that I face as a caregiver is for example, last time we planned to go to the zoo with my kids, we didn't just hop in the car and go. I had to research where we were gonna park, where Chris would have access, where he would better be able to take his wheelchair. All of that is, you know, hours of research before we can even leave the house. Just going to a simple restaurant to eat, we have to call ahead of time and make sure they're ADA compliant for a wheelchair or have enough space to even get in or even for him to use the bathroom. My favorite part of JCS is getting to bond with the other wives. It's nice to talk to women that have been through the same thing and having each other to lean on. JCS is my outlet. It has allowed me to understand through the other wives what they've dealt with, what has worked for them. Um, it's a brotherhood, but for me it's also, I've built some really strong friendships. We are a family. This is our get together. This is our time to be able to share things that are going on, whether it's good or bad, or just be able to have the atmosphere to talk and communicate and just be there with one another. I had a double mastectomy a couple months ago, and if it wasn't for the JCS family helping us, I'm not sure we financially would have been able to make it. A specific moment that I'm really thankful for being a part of the JCS family is um, when Chris lost his mom. It was really hard, and they were there for us, and they came to her celebration of life, and I just, it felt really good to have a big group of people in Chris's corner, because we were far away, and then we decided to move back, and it really made all the difference. JCS has helped Tim through just having other service members to talk to. There are many instances where he can't talk to me about certain things because I wouldn't understand. He's been able to communicate with peers and different groups to share his story, but also to support um, other veterans in the organization. JCS means everything to me and my family. They're always there when you need something. Just being a call away. They're always there to support us and they just really want us to have the best quality of life and the best family that we can. For me, this, this is, it's everything for us. I mean, I don't know where we would be <laughs> if we didn't have JCS.